This is Nikita Trigiero. She works around the clock, working two jobs to make sure her 11-year-old disabled son, Nyan, receives all the care he needs. But due to the cost of living crisis, with spiralling bills, Nikita is struggling to keep afloat. Covid knocked out our reserves. Cost of living is just another thing. And I don't know how much more resilience families will have to be able to cope with that. If families are having to think even harder about money and having to think harder about what they spend on their children, that's just, you know, it's just another thing to add to a very long list that's been um, really hard going over the last few years. It's been a tough few years. But Nikita isn't alone. In fact, the majority of people in poverty are actually in work. Around two-thirds of working-age adults live on the breadline. That's the highest it's ever been since records began over 25 years ago. Hit the hardest is ethnic minorities. Most people tend to think that being in work is the route out of poverty, but actually more than 20% are paid below the real living wage. It should be that you were paid a decent wage that more than meets your expenses, that allows you to have a great and fulfilling life. But at the moment, many wages are just too low. The benefit system doesn't top those up enough for households to even at the moment meet their essentials. So the notion of working harder to make more money seems to be a thing of the past. That's especially the case for Fredeline F. Warman, a driver of the Real Living Wage campaign. He's working 70-hour weeks, and it's still not enough. The more I try to help myself, the harder it becomes. We are cleaning ourselves because of the cost of living. So the vacuum the cost of living is creating is so big. You know, so no matter how much I tried, you know, I see a lot have to go out of me at the end of the day. Everything is like attacking your account. The government says it is protecting millions of the most vulnerable in society, like Nikita's family. But even the Prime Minister admits the support package won't cut it. So with no safety net, bills spiralling out of control and wages unable to keep up, for many, the worst is yet to come. Shadia Edwards-Dashdi, Five News.